Uh, really wish I had a missile or something. Oh, it's smoking. All right, blimp is smoking. I think it's going down, actually. Uh, landing gear is up right now, so let's go release. <gasps> oh, wait, what happens to the pilot plane? Am I still controlling that one? So let's go waiting five. I can't see. I can't see. Release. Uh oh. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we're back once again, and today we're going to be checking out some really awesome creations. So, what we're going to be checking out here first, we have a World War I blimp. Now, this is an attack blimp, it's got two deployable fighters on it, plus it's got a massive amount of machine guns. So we're going to start off with this. I got several other cool creations we're going to check out. Now all the creations will be linked down in the description if you want to try out anything that you see in this episode. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Helps out my channel. And let's do this. Dude, this is so cool. So it's a blimp with two deployable fighters, which you can see I'm here. Is there a person inside of those fighters? Oh, there is. What about the, uh, the Red Baron one? Hold on, let's go up here. Oh, that is too cool. So as far as I know, you can actually deploy these fighters and fly them around. Uh, you'll use the one and the two on the action keys. Uh, question is, how does this exactly work? Hold on, let's go switch camera real quick. Okay, orbit view, is this one of the fighters? Okay, orbit view is actually on the green fighter here. Cool. Okay, what about the other camera? Do we switch to maybe the Red Baron one? Is that it? No, this is inside of the blimp. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, so we can switch to that. And there's the Red Baron. Okay, so I'm throttled up on the blimp. Question is, what happens when we drop one of these? Let's go ahead and drop one real quick. Here we go. Red Baron's going to be prepared to be deployed. Boom. Uh-oh. No, it didn't stay with it. No. Oh, here we go. Oh, the engine starts up now. Oh, that is too cool. Hold on, does the camera... Okay, the camera doesn't switch with it, though. So, uh-oh. Oh, where's the Red Baron? Okay, so this is the only camera that we have with the Red Baron fighter. Uh, it does fire. Oh, that is so cool. It is a little bit laggy, but this is an intense creation. I mean, it's several deployable ships. Uh, you got the... Oh, let's get around to it. You got the whole craft itself, which is actually huge. Oh, where's it going? Oh, oh we can actually shoot at our own craft. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, there goes the Red Baron. Hold on. Do we have damage? Oh, we're smoking. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, should we deploy the other fighter? Oh. Oh. Kind of burned itself out, I guess. Oh, I love creations like this uh, where we can deploy these little fighters. You know, I don't think we're... Uh, we're not really any match for any sort of fleet. I would say, hey, let's go into full-blown combat. Uh, but, yeah, you do have all the guns here uh, with the actual blimp itself. But, eh. I don't think we're going to be doing too much damage to anybody. Alright, so we are ready to deploy the second fighter. Was this... I don't think this was an actual method of deployment, was it? This would be scary if this was like real, like, hey, you just get to drop off the uh, the blimp. Good luck. Alright, so let's go ahead, get ready to drop second fighter. Let's go and make sure we're on a correct camera. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the cockpit cam for the fighter. Alright, here we go. And three, two, one, deploy. Uh oh. No, was it two? Oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. I was like, oh no, we didn't deploy. I wonder how they do that, though. Uh, the whole fact that it starts up the propeller as it gets released. Uh, and it doesn't go with the other one. Except for the whole fact of, I believe I'm still controlling the blimp, too. Hold on, let's get this at a, a level altitude. And let's switch to the blimp. Am I? Uh oh, where'd the blimp go? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm still controlling the blimp. What the heck? This is like that bomber creation we had not too long ago, where you can control both. Uh, I do really, really wish I had a, a third person cam on this. Uh, let's go ahead and circle back around. Can we do damage to that blimp? That's a good question. Oh, there it is! Oh, it's epic looking. Hold on, let's go ahead and uh, let's light up the blimp. Oh, it, I forgot that the whole fact that it shoots too when I shoot. Hold on, oh, did we do some damage? So I'll slide it up a little bit, hold on, let's make another run at it. Let's try to take down the blimp. So weird, I feel like I'm kind of dogfighting with myself here. Oh, here's the blimp. Okay, here we go. Light it up. I'm trying to take it down. Uh, really wish I had a missile or something. Oh, it's smoking. All right, blimp is smoking. I think it's going down, actually. Okay, hold on. Let's get out of it here. Let's see. 
Can we see it? Oh, it's breaking apart. Hold on, let's get aboard the uh, blimp. Hold on. Uh, wait, the only camera with the blimp now is actually inside. We actually have a third person camera on the uh, plane. Oh boy. Oh boy, blimp's going down. Uh, I think the front of it was gone. Oh, this would be so intense. Uh, this is not gonna be good. I really wish we could view this. Hold on, let's go back to the plane. Can we, let's see if we can get a view of the, the blimp here. Where are you at? There it is. There it is. Hold on, let's down the throttle a bit. That way we slow down. Let's get the mouse cursor out of the way. Blimp is going down. Let's go ahead and get a couple more shots on it here. Oh, no, 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 no. But what is it doing? Uh, hold on, keep shooting it. Keep shooting it. I'm trying to blow it up here. Oh, okay. Let's get the throttle back. Uh, let's go to a third person view. And wait. Wait, if, it seems like it's hovering now. It's like it stopped going down. No, it's starting to poke his nose down a little bit. It's trying. The blimp is doing a fantastic job at staying up. Oh, let's get a couple more shots on it here. Oh, we're going to actually cross the stream. Uh, oh, there it goes. It's so close. It's so close. Just let it go. Oh, it's touching the water. And is it... Wait, is it floating? No. Hold on. Let's go back around. And... It's trying. Let's go back first person. Oh, not that one. There we go. Let's give a couple more shots. Trying to take it down. Uh, no. So it would appear that the uh, the blimp's actually floating now. Like it stopped moving. So I guess we're not exactly taking it all the way down. But still, nonetheless, very cool creation. I like the whole fact that you can deploy two fighters from it. Uh, this is uh, really fantastic. I've seen some uh, ships like that where you can deploy fighters, but nothing in air and just how smooth it is and the transition with the actual planes. Very cool creation. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This one's a little bit laggy. All right, so I'm going to try something that a lot of people have been wanting me to try, and that's a, a glider. So I found a couple really cool glider creations. Now essentially what we're going to do, this is the uh, the front plane here, we're going to take the glider up in the air and it's got like a tow hook, which it doesn't look like it's loose, it looks like it's just one bar. And once we get to a uh, certain altitude, we'll release the glider and we're going to try to swoop back in and land. Now there's several controls to this, actually I think it's just the, maybe it's just the one key. I think the one key releases it. Can we switch cameras to the front plane though? Are we always in the rear? Okay, here's the front plane. So it seems like it's going to be one of those things where you have to be in the first person camera. Which, uh, that's not too bad. So we'll go here. Let's go ahead and crank this up. Okay, question is, can we actually get this off the ground? Ooh, I don't like this camera. On, right, let's try. It would seem like there's no flexibility in the tow line. So I don't know how this is going to work. We're lifting. Trying to lift. Front plane's off the ground. Oh, that actually works. Oh, that's so clever. All right. Whee! <laughs> oh, that's a view. Um, okay, so we'll have to go from this view here. So we'll take these up in the air. I think this would be cool to do in real life. I don't know. Maybe I won't react to that really good, but I always picture like, hey, I want to fly in a personal craft. I've flown in a, a big airlines, and of course that's an experience in itself, but I've always wanted to do like a small personal craft, like a Cessna or something. And then something like a glider to me would be absolutely insane to do. All right. So we're getting to a decent altitude here with the, uh, the plane here. Now bandit airports back there. I believe this is right airport and I'm going to attempt to land at either or I'm assuming that the, uh, the simple planes aerodynamic model is going to work here <laughs> and this is going to be good, but this could end in failure. So let's go ahead and get ready to release. Uh, landing gear is up right now. So let's go release. <gasps> oh, wait. What happens to the pilot plane? Am I still controlling that one? Oh, I am. Oh, it's going down. All right. So we are gliding. So the thing about a glider, it's pretty much one shot at landing. Uh, it's not like I can throttle back up if I feel like I'm coming in on the wrong approach. Like I'm going to have to actually land this thing. And I would like to land it at an airport. 
Now, question is, what are the cameras like now? Do we have a cockpit cam? Oh, that's not. Oh, there goes that. All right, so well, this one isn't too bad. Engines overspeeding. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Just no noise at all. That's awesome. There's a cockpit cam for it. This is so sweet. Now, question is, how long can we actually stay in the air? Uh, let's go ahead and get our instruments here. That way we can tell we are losing speed, but I can still climb altitude at the moment. So if I want to gain some speed, we'll, uh, we'll tilt down a little bit. Huh. Question is, I don't think I can make it all the way back to Bandit. Uh, right airport seems like it's going to be the, uh, the place to land. So we'll probably pull like a 180 here in a second. Now, gliders typically can land just in uh, pretty much open fields and stuff like that. Uh, I think they're a little more forgiving as far as what they can land on. But I kind of want to actually land on a uh, runway here. So let's go ahead and glide down. We are losing altitude pretty fast, but let's go ahead and pull the nose up. This is so cool. Like, I'm so glad we're trying stuff like this. Today feels like a let's try some different things here in Simple Planes. And a glider is definitely something we haven't tried yet. I know a lot of people have been wanting to see me uh, attempt to refuel a plane. There's like a refueling mod. Uh, maybe we'll check that out next episode. All right, so I can see our target over to the left side here. This is totally going to work. So let's, uh, let's get lined up. We're going to go in on the left side runway. Uh, this is amazing how well this is working. I, I pictured this thing dropping a lot sooner, but it's uh, it's held altitude, and I could have uh, I could have really prolonged this flight. Like I think I've been in the air for about at least six or seven minutes now, uh, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and take it down. So let's go ahead and deploy landing gear. I'm assuming this has a uh, has some sort of air brakes on it. I don't know. Let's throttle this down. That's not gonna make a difference. But what if I go into the zero here? Okay, yeah, there is a air brake right behind the cockpit. All right, so we are lined up with the runway. Huh? Let's go ahead and tilt the nose up a bit. Try to make sure we don't come in short. Uh, oh, this is going to be an easy landing, I think. You know, it's unforgiving, but you're moving so slow that if you can't nail these landings, uh, that would be kind of bad. You know, I've never really kicked up the wind in simple planes. I'm actually kind of really curious if, like, what kind of effect the wind would have, especially on something like this. I can imagine it'd be uh, pretty bad. All right, let's go and tilt the nose up. Okay, we're coming in. Uh, not going to engage air brakes yet. Okay, let's do a little bit, a couple little hits of it. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's get the nose up. Air brakes. Uh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's see if we can get a smooth landing here and touch down. Air brakes. Uh, it's going to let it roll a little bit. Okay, slowly getting to the brakes. That was, uh, by Komodo standards, that was a pretty smooth landing, I must say. And it tilts over. Not bad. Not bad at all. Those are cool. I'd like to find more of these. Or I'd like to find more deployable planes. Maybe something that's carrying something that's ridiculously fast. I don't know. I need to look for more of these. That was fun. But anyways, let's move on to the, uh, the next creation. All right. So for our next aircraft, this is a concept craft. It's the SUX... I believe it's based on, I believe it's called the SU Flanker, if I'm not mistaken. I could be completely wrong about that, but this is a concept craft, and look at it. This thing is crazy. Look at the weapons on the side of this. This might be the most weapons I've seen stuffed on this size craft. Okay, so how does this thing work? I know it's got several different uh, groups uh, that you can switch to different, uh, almost like strike packages. But does it have anything by default? 18 in interceptors, 10 guardian, oh, 10 cleaver missiles. Where? Is it the side? I guess it's the side. How's there 10 of them on here though? You got those, you've got 14 rocket pods and four bombs. That is a bit overkill, but I must say this is impressive. I guess we should first test out. Can we get it off the beast here? Uh, let's go ahead, throttle up. Oh, yeah, this baby's fast. Uh, oh, perfect launch. Oh, this is too fast. Oh, what the heck? Hold on. Landing gear up. Oh, this is ridiculous. That's cool. Man, you could swing by so quick and take out a bunch of the fleet, and they wouldn't know what hit them. Uh, I know we've uh, done a couple crafts that are really fast, but this feels like a, a bit more not overkill like some of them, and this feels a, a bit more controllable. 
So question, uh, question is, can the uh, actual weapons target this fast? So let's get our air to grounds. Got our cleaver missiles selected. Uh, don't break, don't break. Oh, this is cool. All right, here we go. Swing around to the beast. Can we target the beast with the cleavers? Switch to that. I don't know if we're targeting it. Maybe we, uh, are we not targeting it because we just took off from it? Very possible. Oh, there it goes. Uh, wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and come on cleaver missile Fox 3 and Let's go ahead. We should be able to outrun the flak easily. Oh, I really hope this thing has some sort of countermeasures uh, 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 Oh, wait, is there no countermeasures on this? Oh, hold on. We gotta outrun it. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh no! Oh, I really expected this to have countermeasures up oh. Oh, you can see the beast exploding in the background. Oh, we got to give that another go. You know, for as menacing as this uh, craft is, it does not have countermeasures on it. So I'm assuming we need to outrun pretty much any missiles that come our way. So let's get off the craft again, or off the uh, aircraft carrier. There we go. So it's got several different action groups on it, too. I think we're going to just play with them. I believe I saw that maybe five was a... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, no, five is something I don't think I want to mess with. That was like extra rockets. What the heck is this thing doing? Okay, can we deactivate five? Oh, this is so fast. Dude, this is cool. Right, deactivate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it don't turn off. It doesn't turn off. Hold on, let's go maybe eight. Uh, seven. Oh! <laughs> what was that? Wait. Did that just get rid of all of our stuff, all of our missiles? Oh, jeez. Um, hold on, do we have anything left? Wait a minute. That's the strike package button that, that was talking about. All right, so apparently we have a strike package button, and I'm assuming we could deploy that all out at once. What does that do to something if it hits it? It's got to be devastating because all the cleaver missiles were on those little packages. Uh, I feel like we need to go, uh, visit one of our favorite targets. Alright, we are back at our favorite target ever in Simple Planes. We have the fleet here. So, I want a repeat of what just happened there. The strike package basically separates the pods, which is also some of the thrust, from the wings and just launches it all at once. So that's gonna be seven. Uh, is there some sort of aiming system? I wonder if I could lock on with that. I don't think I could. I think it just launches itself, so let's hope. Let's go cockpit here. It's looking pretty good. Let's go, okay, up a bit. La launch. Ooh, wait. Oh, you wanna activate those first. Sorry guys, that was a bit embarrassing. All right, strike package uh, version two. Let's go and activate them, there they go. Okay, those are going. Uh, how do you aim these? On. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, that's crazy how they move. You know, we weren't that far off target. Oh, boy. Don't worry, fleet. You're going to get it. Oh, it's got four machine guns on it. So I have a bit of a better idea here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just jam this strike package right into them here. So it's gonna be a bit like of a like a kamikaze, except for we are gonna release at the last moment, because kamikazes typically don't work. So ooh, this thing's wobbling a little bit. Let's go. All right, waiting. Activate strike package, and release them. Wait. Wait, what? All right, take four. Now I could always just sit here and start wasting all the. Uh, the missiles and stuff, but we've seen me fight this fleet before with a loaded down plane. I really just want to see stuff blow up as I run into it. So we're going to try this one more time here. I'm going to have to wait till the very, very last second before this happens. So let's go waiting five. I can't see. I can't see. Release. Oh, yes. Yes. We did it. Oh, that is a huge explosion. Look how much of the, uh, we swept this whole side of the fleet. That was awesome. Look at the black mark on top of the, uh, on top of the aircraft carrier. Jeez, actually the black mark's moving. I think it's almost floating on it. 
That was violent. That was awesome, though. Oh, boy. That got me excited. And here we go. Oh, we took out the, uh, the destroyers in the back, too. That was four in one hit. <laughs> Heck, we only need like one or two more planes. We could take out the whole fleet. That was cool. That was really cool. And there goes the smoke. Smoke's disappearing. And the aircraft carrier is going down. That was awesome. All right, so for our final craft here, we have the Rifter. This is really awesome looking. It looks like a dual cockpit sort of VTOL hover mabob thingy. I don't know how to explain this. I mean, you can see obviously right now it's not even touching the ground. It's hovering. Hold on, so can we move like this? Does this thing just hover like, just just easy like this? Hold on, oh no, 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 okay, we're going. All right, so, oh, and we need to move the jets forward. Oh, I might've made a mistake, hold on, let's go forward with the jets, there we go. All right, that was a really, really unorthodox way to take off, but we did it, we made it work. So, you can uh, adjust the jets right on this left side, and you can also adjust them here on the right side so you can play with it. So you can see they're moving a little down, and then you can go a little on this side too. Would they have the same angles? Say if I ripped this all the way down, if I ripped it all the way down like that. Uh, so, okay, those are all the way down. What about if, could I make it go further with this? Oh, you can. That's kind of weird how you can uh, manipulate this craft. Hold on, let's go all the way forward there. That should push them. Oh, and I think we are too far, too, too aggressive here. Lower that. That's cool. I like that a lot. Now, how does this thing actually handle? So let's try to fly this like a fighter jet here. Oh yeah, pretty easy. Oh, it's got a little bit of a, almost like the air catches it. So if you go a little too aggressive with your banking, so this is fine, fine, fine. But if I pull real hard, yeah, the air kind of takes it, moves it. It could also be the angle of the uh, thrusters there too. You know, the paint job of this kind of reminds me of one of the uh, the Red Bull F1 cars. <laughs> I don't know if that's just a coincidence or uh, what that is. Uh, does this thing have weapons? I don't think it does. Oh, oh, it's got cannons. Hold on, what kind of cannons are these? Is it the Gatlin cannons in the front? Let's see, is that what they are? That's got quite a few, actually. Is that four? Uh, four streams? Yeah. Okay, what about weapons? Do we, are we dealing with any weapons? We've got interceptors. Oh, it's got, wow, it's got everything actually, hold on. So I'm assuming these are gonna need to be, uh, need to be activated. So let's go one, group one. I don't know what that did. Group two, oh, the stream. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. That might've been like super ultra fast. Oh, that's super ultra fast mode. Oh, I don't think we wanna be in this mode. Oh, look at the speed. Wait, what the heck is going on here? Uh, this does not seem normal at all. This is not good. Oh, this is not good at all, huh? Can we deactivate this? Oh, buddy, we're gonna fly all the way across the map. Where, where are we at? Uh, oh, I don't see any of the islands anymore. You know, what? let's just go back into that mode for a second. Let's see if we can cruise all the way around and find some of the islands. The speed on this thing's insane. It's cruising at about 5,500 miles an hour. It turns really, really fast uh, once you're in this mode. Uh, I know the land isn't infinite. Somebody said that once you go so far out, you actually just come, oh, we almost hit the water. Yeah, you'll just come back around to the islands and I'm not seeing any of them. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any of them yet. I'm not seeing anything as of yet. I don't think we're gonna make it back around. So anyways, let's turn that off real quick. All right, so what is the, okay, we know what the two does. What's the three? Three are lights, cool. Four, oh, there they are. Okay, hold on, I wanna see that actually happen. Check this out. Oh, that is sweet. What's five? Six, seven, okay, that's another, okay, that's another stream there. All right, so, this thing's actually got cleaver missiles, inferno missiles, and 42 rocket pods. That's a pretty uh, impressive arsenal for a little craft like this. All right, so we are back at the airport. Let's go ahead and check. Do we have air to air? So we have six interceptor missiles. So this thing can be uh, basically a fighter and something that can target the ground targets too. So I can easily switch to these and go whoop and whoop. Dude, those are so fast. What the heck? On, what's up with the lock-on on these? 
<laughs> what the heck? This might be one of the most devastating fighters ever. Like, this thing locks on so quick. And boom. We just took out that fleet in a matter of seconds. Oh, what about the cleavers? Do the cleavers lock on like that? Wow, that was really impressive. I don't know what's causing it to do that, but... Alright, we gotta go target the fleet. I've got an idea. This is gonna be epic. Alright, so this thing targets a lot faster than I thought it would. So, question is, can we sweep the fleet here? We have 16 Infernos, 4 Cleavers. So, let's see if we can get close here and try to maybe target them and see what happens. Alright, here we go. Locking on. The locks are so fast! What dictates that? Uh oh. Okay, wait. Okay, we're locked on. Let's go ahead and activate really f super fast mode. Oh, you can't catch me like this. Oh. <laughs> this is the ultimate in, in like some sort of evasion tool. Uh oh. No, we're already locked onto the tiny over here. All right, you know what? We're taking the tiny out too. Bye, tiny. <laughs> we just took the tiny out. Uh, let's go back here. I'm still hearing explosions from where our missiles are hitting. And I'm hearing flak, too. Alright, let's go back into targeting these. We're gonna hit the fleet again. Is the fleet basically done? It almost would seem like it. Huh, on, air to ground. Come on, cleavers, pick them up. There we go. 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 Alright, switch to cleavers. There we go. Cleavers. Oh, that is so ridiculous. Dude, the fleet is done. What the heck? Oh, uh, you really think you want to target me? I think that we left a couple of destroyers. Alright, yeah, sure. That rocket's not going to do a thing as soon as we activate that. And we're outrunning them. This might be the best craft in the game. It's a little hard to control and things happen so fast, but. That is awesome. I'm just amazed at how quickly this thing targets. Like, there's almost zero wait time as soon as you actually acquire uh, the target. It's pretty much, if you're on them, it's a lock instantly. That is cool. That is really cool. That might be one of my new favorite planes, or whatever you want to call this in Simple Planes. Uh, is this a plane? A VTOL? A weird futuristic craft? I'm not really sure. But anyways, folks, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode here. We uh, got to check out some really awesome creations. I'm really, really happy about this last one. Uh, that was fun. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you have any uh, suggestions for future Simple Planes episodes, comment below. And we will see you guys next time on Simple Planes. Thank you.